morning my people happy sunday we have come again with another information that will uh, either train your heart or <laughs> make you to laugh because this politics that they are playing in nigeria is hanky panky rob peter to pay paul yes finally the north are fidgeting they are afraid if Tunubu want to sell them off to france you see yes because the menace of boko haram has been you know increased on daily basis and then the president of the day Tunubu, is doing has something happened. let us listen to what they are envisaging what they are foreseeing that Tunubu wants to do let's go Nigeria's president, Mr. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, is alleged to have come close to completing a deal with the French president, Mr. Emmanuel Macron, to give out northern Nigeria to France for recolonization. This revelation comes after the two presidents began talks on a France-Nigeria security architecture for northern Nigeria. France, having lost its grip on Niger Republic and being chased out of the country, began looking for a new colony to replace its loss. Suddenly, its friendship with the new Nigeria president came into play. A prominent northern Nigerian by the name of Mahadi alleged that the president is closer to signing a deal with France to give out the entire security operations of northern Nigeria. We all know what that means. Should the Nigeria president proceed with this deal, there is going to be another Gaza in Nigeria. France is known for its brutality in Algeria and all the so-called Francophone nations where its agreement for the continuation of colonization is present and enforced. This has made the inhabitants of those nations the poorest people on earth, despite their rich resources. Scientists and researchers have discovered that the amount of natural resources and wealth beneath the ground of northern Nigeria is the core root of all its security challenges, ranging from Boko Haram, banditry, and kidnapping. It has been alleged that France was sponsoring the terrorist groups in northern Nigeria to make it ungovernable and uninhabitable while exploiting the resources in those areas. Nigeria being circled by French colony countries is about to become a French colony. However, Mr. Tinubu has already started relocating all the lucrative institutions from northern Nigeria and the Nigeria's capital to his hometown of Lagos. In the event that he finally gives out northern Nigeria to France either by proxy, agreement or security conspiracy, he would have nothing to worry about as his enclave is safe. The bigger question, therefore, is what are the northern Nigeria elite doing to stop this conspiracy of enslaving them once again? Who in northern Nigeria can stop Tinubu? Why is France so adamant in exploiting Africa? Why does Tinubu hate northern Nigeria this much? When will the northern Nigerians stand up to gain their independence? All right, <laughs> you have heard what this woman is saying. Yes, that northern Nigeria is trying to be recognized by France. Well, if that is what will destroy Boko Haram and really, really fight terrorism, then so be it, because they have beaten more than they can chew. They've beaten, they've, they've, they've killed so many innocent people that are not supposed to die. They have killed them, taking over their land, destroying. Fuller need, need something harder to come on them. My stake is that anything at all that would destroy terrorism in the north is a welcomed idea yes because britain does not care they don't know how to stop it and they don't care to stop it so how long are we going to be in this confusion every time terrorism even to the extent that the thing is spreading out to other regions our eastern region is not left um out of this because they are using military, they are using police to invade that region. Just for them to claim they are doing whatever they are doing legally, they are killing our people on uniform. They are using their uniform to kill our people. That's what we are saying. And then Nigeria refused to divide. They don't want to divide a large entity of darkness and backwardness that they cannot control. They are not even productive in any form, in any guise. They are not productive, and they want you to believe in what is not working for you. They want you to believe in what is not working for you. It is not going to continue that way, right? Everybody, everybody is praying. Everybody is praying. Um, solutions are being 
search out for. People are craving. What will be the end of this? How can we end this terrorism in the north? How can we, you know, control the insecurity in Nigeria? This has been the question. And on the lips of everyone, this is what is playing out. And now that Tinubu wants to do it, maybe, <laughs> you know, they were thinking Tinubu was dying. They were thinking Tinubu deceived the north with his high level of intelligence, high level of um, uh, criminality, high level of thuggery, high level of forgery. He deceived Nigerians and took over the mantle of leadership. So they were thinking he's not interested or he will soon uh, give up or die. But now Tunubu is now held and happy, you know, doing his own bid. His own bid, first of all, increasing the, uh, you know, devaluing Naira to nonsense and then packing all the hard currency he can pack now. I'm telling you, he's packing everything to himself. And then the whole world is watching. Uh, you're about watching, also watching, confused. In confusion, they are watching Tunubu to do what he pleases. That has been Ahmed Tunubu from beginning. Even when he was uh, governor of Lagos, the same thing he was doing. He cares for no one. He does not listen to anybody. And he is greedy to stupor. The kind of greed in him is second to none, you know. So France, they are ready to recognize the North. A whole lot of natural resources is there. Whole lot. When I mean whole lot, a lot is in the North. Yet they prefer terrorism. If we talk about business that will give the Northern people money, we talk about gold, we talk about agriculture, we talk about bitumen, all those natural resources, they are there. Even they said they had oil, but I, we know they are lying. So, but the walls they have can feed them, can make them comfortable, can give them good houses, good roads, everything, basic amenity. They can have it. So something that is bigger than the north is about to come to them, and that will be the prayer of everybody. Yes, whether they are being deceived or they are being calmed down, whichever way, they need iron hand because they have turned this country upside down. That Nigeria is not... So that serves them right, very well. Everybody will have calmness, yes. Let them be recognized. Let their natural resources go. Hence, they refuse to take your, their own and they're after oil. All of them in the north, they have oil block. In this, in the eastern region, <laughs> criminality in the highest order. What goes around comes around. Whatsoever a man soweth on earth, so he shall reap. So he shall reap, and they will reap it. And that's it. Help us to share, help us to comment and suggest. God bless you.